got some pretty important news here, and the headline reads here, Trump expected to order Mexican border wall. Uh, they say, this is a New York Times article, they say President Trump will order the construction of a Mexican border wall on Wednesday, White House officials said, and is mulling plans to stop Syrian refugees from entering the country and to slash immigration of refugees from terror-prone nations, perhaps as early as this week. During an appearance at the Department of Homeland Security on Wednesday, Mr. Trump plans to sign an executive order to direct federal funds to be shifted toward the building of a wall on the southern border that became a signature promise of his campaign. He has argued that doing so is vital to gaining control over the illegal flow of immigrants into the United States. Okay, let's start this off quickly. Okay, first of all, um, more uh, we have a net loss of immigrants coming through the southern Mexican border. That's a fact. You can look it up. Um, anyways, also, on top of that, most immigrants come by overstaying a visa, not by hopping this imaginary, not imaginary, but doing this imaginary thought of hopping this wall and just coming over. So it, it'll prove ineffective anyway, so why would you do that? You're going to use federal funds that could be used for something like health care or welfare or something to help poor, disabled people, things like that. Schooling, public education, you know, anything like that. Planned Parenthood even, I mean, they... They help make sure women can stay healthy, you know, and not get breast cancer and things like that. They can get screening. So, basically what this is, is it's massive pandering and it's it's a sick type of scapegoat is what I like to call it. Because he wants to scapegoat immigrants for the type of shit that this motherfucker did. So, when Donald Trump is outsourcing his own fucking jobs and he's making fake colleges to scam the American people... He doesn't bl blame the CEOs like himself. He blames the immigrants coming trying to flee from drug cartel violence and the terrible situation that it is in Mexico to come to America. They do jobs that other people don't want to fucking take. So don't bitch because you won't take that job. Nobody in your family will ever take a job as a gardener or someone who's going to be a janitor or whatever. So don't ever bitch. So this, this kind of disgusting type of scapegoating bullshit is just total garbage and i already broke down the facts for you it's a bunch of bullshit so donald trump is using this rhetoric to act as if he's some kind of savior for americans but really he's not because what happens is when the immigrants are out there's another wave of people that the ceos and the companies subjugate or not necessarily subjugate but take it massive advantage of uh, Trump Trump is saying all this shit. He had undocumented immigrants working on his hotel at, and during the primary season. There was a dude who was talking about it. He's like, you know, we don't come here to rape and murder people. We're doing to jobs here fucking with dangerous chemicals that can kill us. What are you doing? You're fucking tweeting and your amazing hairstyle, right? Anyways, that's irrelevant. But this whole wall shit is BS. It's going to waste federal funds. It's going to prove ineffective and it's in principle just stupid. I guarantee even his ancestry was not fully American. You know why? Because Native Americans were the first people to be here. They were driven out by the whites. Then you got the Irish coming in, the Europeans coming in. You got all this type of shit. And there's all types of people coming in. But those people love to act as if they were some kind of founders or first people on this land that belongs to them. So people like Bill O'Reilly who's Irish, which most likely means that his, his whatever, great-grandfather came during the potato fucking famine, escaping from the same poverty and terrible conditions is somehow more, or is allowed and blessed, honestly, to be on the land, but undocumented immigrants are not. And he said this, he said, you and people like you don't deserve to be here.